chilly out there, so do the dangers of the body of getting too cold and hypothermic. That is why, today, we will be talking about Hypothermia 101. So what is hypothermia? Well, I'm glad you asked. Hypothermia is a medical emergency. Basically, it occurs when your body loses heat faster than it can produce it. Hypothermia occurs when your body's temperature falls below 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius. So what's the difference between hypothermia and hyperthermia? Well, hyperthermia is the opposite of hypothermia. Hyperthermia causes the body's temperature to increase to a dangerous level. When a person gets a fever that is above normal levels, it is called hyperthermia. So besides lowering the body's temperature, how does hypothermia affect the body? I'm glad you asked that. When your body temperature drops, your heart, nervous system, and other organs can't work normally. Hypothermia is very dangerous and often treated. So how does someone get hypothermia? Well, hypothermia is often caused by exposure to cold weather or immersion in cold water. Now how would I know if someone has hypothermia? Well, that's a good question. It's very important to spot symptoms of hypothermia because the patient will most likely not know they are going into hypothermia due to it happening so gradually. The first symptom a patient will most likely present with is shivering. Now, some other symptoms may include slurred speech or mumbling, slow, shallow breathing, weak pulse, clumsiness or lack of coordination, drowsiness or very low energy. confusion or memory loss, loss of consciousness, So what should I do if I come across someone who has hypothermia? Well, the first thing you want to do is call 911 if you suspect someone has hypothermia. While you wait for emergency help to arrive, gently move the person inside if possible. Any jarring movements can trigger dangerous irregular heartbeats. If possible, carefully remove his or her wet clothing, replacing it with warm, dry coats and blankets. And if further warming is needed, do so gradually. For example, apply warm, dry compresses to the center of the body, that is, the neck, chest, and groin. If you use hot water bottles or a chemical hot pack, first make sure to wrap it in a towel before you're applying it. Offer the person warm, sweet, non-alcoholic drinks. Lastly, begin CPR if the person shows no signs of life. That is, if they show no breathing, coughing, or movement. So is there anything that I should not do when trying to help someone that might be suffering from hypothermia? Yeah, that's a really good question. So don't rewarm the person too quickly, such as with a heating lamp or a hot bath. Don't attempt to warm the arms and legs, because heating or massaging the limbs of someone in this condition can really stress the heart and the lungs. And don't give the person alcohol or cigarettes. Alcohol hinders the rewarming process, and tobacco products actually interfere with circulation that's needed for rewarming. And remember, hypothermia is a true medical emergency that necessitates a 911 call. So what can I do to prevent from getting hypothermia? Well, first make sure to wear clothes that are warm enough for the outside weather. Don't stay out too long in the cold. If clothes get wet, make sure to change as soon as possible and place yourself in a warm environment. When exercising, remember that sweating also tends to cool down the body a lot faster and will also make clothes wet. Children and the elderly lose warmth faster and often do not even notice that they're getting cold. Also note that if anyone is impaired in any way, oftentimes they may not be able to realize that they're getting cold. Thanks for watching Hypothermia 101 Safety. And, and remember, remember, stay, stay warm, warm, stay dry, dry and stay safe.